ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ண பரபிரமணே நம அவர் லைஃப் இஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் வேல்யூபுள் இட் த லைஃப் இட் செல்ஃப் டீச்சர்ஸ் அஸ் சோ மெனி திங்ஸ் ஹவு வித் அவர் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் த பேட் லக் இஸ் தட் வி டூ நாட் நோ ஃபார் எவ்ரி ஒன்ஸ் லைஃப் எட் எனி டைம் டீச்சர்ஸ் ஹிம் த லெசன்ஸ் பட் he cannot recognize it why because it is of ignorance and these and all can be measured when we deeply observe it sometime anything happened we take it easy like that so many experience when you uh, collect back, collect from the past you will have so many experiences how it came these experiences are life experiences life would taught us but we are not understood we are not aware of knowing the lessons taught by the life because of the, our ignorance we are not uh, stretched forth our attention towards that sign therefore every one's life teaches the lessons at any time at any cost but it is revealed only by the love when you get love then automatically you can reveal and then love reveals it and it openly tells us so we have to open to try something new or you can't understand what is this if you are not opened your eye to know the realities it is mere waste it is like closing eyes so we have to pay attention in every aspects we should not misunderstand sometime when we require to understand others we misunderstand when we want to misunderstand then we feel we understood we understood wrong we do not know at that time after the experience we used to say ah life it taught me so many lessons so far after attaining the certain age everyone used to say you see the older people they used to speak oh life taught me so many lessons boss that's why we have to understand the essence of the value of the life then only we can understand it but love is not like that love is an action it's just not a feeling so love is always unconditional kada love never be in conditioned way it it never be measured it is unfathomable that's why love daringly reveals whatever the experience you got it you get it you got it therefore we should be alert in this regard we have to put a look on this uh, regard basing on this today i took the topic of life teachers and love reveals let us go in detail with prayer pujya ya raghavendaya satya dharma dhataya cha bajatam kalpa vrukshaya namatam kramathe nave life teaches us lessons through our daily routines and experiences but we don't know usually recognize them right way and so we keep anchored encountering many problems and experiencing difficulties until one day the lessons are revealed uh, revealed to us through love it happens when we start asking and we start 
when we start asking, we know the reality. Then only we start looking for answers. We start seeking the truth and we realize that the truth is nothing, God. And God is love. Love reveals means God reveals. Nothing is there. God loves us so much. He wants us to learn the lessons that we may be guided to the right path to him. The people you encounter are the people you need to learn the lessons. Some will love you, some will not. But in the end, when you learn the lessons through them, it's because God loves you. That should not be forgotten. Love, it makes the world go round, right? Well, at least that's the how the saying goes. It should be, but so many people confuse love with things like jealousy or possessiveness. True love is not either of those things, but we should understand it. So let me give some sort of guidelines that real love teaches us these are 17 things. It will be concluded. The first one, love means letting go of expectations that should be known at first. Sure, we all want people to behave the way we want them to. We want them to be more affectionate or more outgoing or smarter or more ambitious. All of these things are expectations. Expectations are just your requirements for acceptability of loving someone. But true love has no expectations. It simply loves as it is. Number two, love does not play the victim role or blame others. Love does not think others are out to get them. Love does not think their loved ones are wrong. Love works together. Love takes responsibility. It forgives and allows other people's actions to be their journey. Love does not take things personally. Third, love including letting go. Love does not equal possession just as the saying goes. If you love something, set it free. If it comes back, it's yours. It is, it is not yours. Then it never was. There is a truth to that. Love allows people their freedom. It does not hold tightly and crush their wings in attempt to keep them. True love does not want to possess. It is willing to set you free if you want to be. Fourth, love doesn't require you to continue a relationship. You may love someone very much, but you may not be compatible with them or they may drive you crazy their continued disregard for your feelings. You can still love them, but that does not mean you have to be with them. Love does not mean that you have to stay and stay and stay. You can leave the relationship and love them anyway. Fifth one, love has no room for jealousy. Like possession, jealousy doesn't equal love. We think that if we are not jealous of our loved ones, that it means that we don't love them. True love has a confidence in the quality of the relationship. It knows that the other person is happy and content coming back to you and only you. Sixth one. Love is the absence of fear. You can put all emotions on a continuum. One may, uh, on one end, 
you have love then appreciation after that it's a joy happiness contentment and satisfaction on the opposite end on the continuum of love is fear other fear based emotions include hatred insecurity jealousy or greed we only have about 4000 weeks in life and if you are in your midlife you only have about 2000 weeks left seventh one love is not needing and wanting one of the things we try to teach kids is that there is a clear difference between a want and a need needing someone is a feeling based on fear you fear that you can't live without them so you need them and remember fear is the opposite of love wanting someone in your life gives them the freedom to leave but still shows them you love them eighth love is an action not just a feeling humans tend to be addicted to intense emotion especially when it feels good so when we are in love we want to feel that way forever but guess what that higher than cloud 9 feeling goes away after a while that does not mean you don't love the other person anymore it just means that it's not new anymore so that's where the action needs to kick in show the person you love them don't just assume they know ninth one love is unconditional the word unconditional means that there are no expectations or limitations set to love unconditionally is a difficult thing and most humans are not good at that but true love really does love without trying to change the other person love means putting other people's needs equal to or before your own while people may be inherently selfish for survival purposes this does not serve as well in relationships if you don't put to other people's needs at least equal to your own they will grow resentful real love truly genuinely cares about other people's happiness and will go to great lengths to make people feel valued 11 love is the highest vibration emotion that there is science has proven that emotions like love and fear have very different vibrations they can actually measure them love vibrates very fast whereas fear based emotions think jealousy possessiveness hatred greed etc vibrate very slowly when you love completely and unconditionally there is no fear involved the vibrations of love make you feel good at all times but love is focusing on quality not quantity yes love focuses on the quality of your relationship but not its longevity i am sure you have heard the phrase it's better to have loved and lost than to never have loved at all just because your relationship lasts a long time does not mean that you have true love real love can be very brief therefore quality and quantity of love are not the same things 13 love requires attention love does not ignore it does not look the other way 
it wants to be present and be together when people are in love sometimes they think that they don't have to do any more work but real love actually enjoys giving attention to another person it feels good and does not see giving attention to another person as a core 14th love understands and accepts differences let us face it we are all different even identical twins are not exactly the same they have different experience and outlooks about the world so real love does not make other people wrong for being different when people truly love another person they accept their differences 15 love varies in how it is expressed and accepted what makes us feel good or feel loved in the book of five love languages by gary chapman he explains the different ways people give and receive love number 1 words 2 acts of service 3 giving gifts 4 spending time together and fifth one touch it's an important to discover other people's love language so you can understand each other and give love in a way that the other person recognizes it easily 16 love makes you feel good not bad many people confuse being in a relationship with love just because you are in a relationship does not mean there is true love present if there is jealousy possessiveness constant fighting abuse or verbal emotional or physical that is not love those are fear based emotions and actions some people used to say wife used to say to husband as i have deep love that's why i am fighting with you it's wrong if they have pure love there is no ch- ground for fighting 17 love has empathy empathy is the ability to put yourself into another person's shoes and see a situation from his point of view love has a deep empathy when you hurt i hurt people who truly love one another don't want to hurt them they want them to feel good they care about their feelings and try everything they can to make them feel valued and worthy remember love is happiness appreciation and feeling good anything other than that is not love if we all loved one another as ourselves the world would be better place love is dynamic and requires action to thrive often we spend our partner feels towards us or how the relationship looks from the outside even though it feels good to be loved by someone else each one of us can only really feel our loving feelings for another person and not the person's feelings for us in order to connect with and sustain those loving feelings within us we have to take actions that are loving otherwise we may be uh, living in fantasy at times it may be frustrating but it's actually pretty empowering to accept the fact that the only person we have any true control over in a relationship is ourselves we are in charge of our half of the dynamic therefore we can choose whether to engage in behaviors that are destructive to intimacy or whether to take actions 
that express feelings of love compassion affection respect and kindness in order to consciously and existentially choose the latter it's valuable to look at the characteristics that in more than 30 years of studying couples robert and lisa found to be vital to maintaining truly loving non defensiveness and openness versus angry reactions to feedback to maintain closeness couple should be open with each other which means being willing to hear feedback from each other without being defensive or discouraging the truth can offer an important clue into ways we may be pushing our partner away without realizing it even if we don't agree with everything listening to our partner naturally makes them feel seen heard and cared about on the other hand punishing our partner for being honest and direct with us shuts down communication to open to trying something new versus closer to new experiences a relationship thrives when both people are in touch with a lively open and vulnerable side to themselves that welcomes new experiences we don't have to love and participate in everything our partner enjoys but sharing new activities visiting new places and breaking uh, routines often breathes new life into a relationship that feels invigorating to both people third honesty and integrity versus deception and duplicity to tell the truth is one of the first lessons most of us are taught as kids yes as adults there can be a lot of deception in our closest relationships when we are dishonest with our partner we do them the relationship and ourselves a great disservice in order to feel vulnerable with our partner we must trust them and this can only be achieved through honesty for respect for the others boundaries priorities and goals versus overstepping boundaries to avoid a fantasy bond we have to see the other person as separate from us that means respect king them as a unique autonomous individual often couples tend to take on roles or play into power dynamics we may tell each other what to do or how to act or we may speak for and about each other in ways that are limiting or defining essentially we treat them as extensions of ourselves rather than separate human beings as a result we actually limit our own attraction to them we treat the other person like our right arm then we are no more attracted to them than we are to our right arm fifth one physical affection and personal sexuality versus lack of affection and inadequate impersonal or routine sexuality affection is a huge part of how we express love when we cut ourselves off to our feelings of affection we tend to deaden the relationship this weakens the spark between ourselves and our partner sexuality can become routine or impersonal and as a result both partners feel more distant and less satisfied keeping love alive means staying in touch with a part of ourselves that wants physical contact and is willing to give and receive affection six one <clears throat> understanding versus misunderstanding it's easy to project 
on to our partner or misunderstand the things they are saying either using them to feel hurt or attacked in old familiar ways that resonate with us it's also so easy to get to the stick it in our own point of view without seeing things of you from others point of view other person's perspective we are always going to be two different people with two sovereign minds so we won't uh, want always see eye to eye however it's important to really try to understand our partner from a clear point of view when our partner from clear point of view can understand you will come to conclusion when our partner feels seen and understood they are much more likely to soften and see our perspective as well seventh one non controlling non manipulative and non threatening behaviors versus manipulations of dominance and submission many couples who find themselves wrapped up in dynamics where one acts like a parent and the other like a child one looks to other for guidance then resents that person for telling them what to do or one person tries to control the situation then complains that the other person is irresponsible immature or passive in order for a relationship to be truly loving it must be equal when one person tries to control or manipulate the other be it by yelling or screaming or stonewalling and playing the victim neither person is expect uh, experiencing an adult equal and loving relationship how to create a truly loving relationship now that we know the characteristics of real love how can we take steps in ourselves to create a more loving relationship first of all it's an important to acknowledge that despite these clear sounding discrepancies between real love and fantasy many people mistake one for the other they may even prefer fantasy to reality because it's less painful to appear connected to someone than to actually feel connected to them many of us become caught up in the fairy tale the superficial elements are the form of the relationship we may fall in love with the illusion of connection or security of the situation offers but we don't let ourselves get too close to other person that is because we want to love we often actually take actions to push it away that's why the first step to being more loving is to get to know and challenge our own defenses challenging the defenses that limit true love many people have fears of intimacy of which they have they are not even aware we may be tolerant of realizing our dreams of falling in love in fantasy but very often we are intolerant of having that dream fulfilled in reality both giving and receiving love tend to disrupt the negative yet familiar ways we think about ourselves on an unconscious level we may sense that if we did not push love away the old world as we have experienced it would be shattered and we would not know who we are if we felt criticized or resented in our childhood we may have trouble feeling confident or worthwhile in our relationships we may seek out partners 
who put us down in ways that feel familiar or we may never fully accept our partner's loving feelings for us because they may threaten this early self perception if we felt intruded on in our early lives or if we had an emotionally hungry parent we may avoid intimacy altogether and feel pseudo independent or we may subconsciously seek out people who depend on us to meet all their needs and more again both of these extremes can lead to relationships that lack real closeness and intimacy the good news is we can start to break these destructive relationship to patterns by better knowing ourselves and our defenses shree kanta kalyana nidhi nidhi dhanam shree vengadesh vasai shri vasai mangalam mangalasha sampreme madhacharya purogme sarvaisha purvai rachare sakrutaya stumangalam